Today I am being asked to speak on about Radhashtami because September 3rd, Saturday, we will be celebrating about Radhashtami. Try to understand. I am not at all qualified to speak on this highly elevated subject matter. So, since I have been asked, I will try to speak something which I heard from Srila Prabhupada and uh, Guru Varga of ISKCON. So, First, we'll sing Jai Radha Madhava, then we'll have Mangla Charan, and then Dade Jai Jai Madhava Daite, and then we'll try to understand Tattva. Srila Prabhupada's standard format is understand Tattva before you go to any pastime. We'll try to see some pastime, and then I think we'll have question answer. So that will be the format. I think many newcomers are there. Thank you all for joining today for Sunday Feast Class. Shri Prabhupada will give his blessings to all of you. Please chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Radha Madhava. Punja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Punja Bihari Jaya Gopi Janavalla Bhagiri Varadari Jaya Gopi Janavalla Bhagiri Varadari Yasodanandana Vraja Janaranjana Yasodanandana Vraja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Dirada Madhava Kunja Bihari Dirada Madhava Kunja Bihari Jay Gopi Janavalla Bhagiri Varadari Jay Gopi Janavalla Bhagiri Varadari Yesodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yesodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari 
ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਰੀ ਜੈ ਗੋਪੀ ਜਨ ਬੱਲਾਵਾ ਗਿਰੀ ਵਰਦਾਰੀ ਸੋਦਨੰਦਨਾ ਵਜ ਜਨ ਰੰਜਨਾ ਯਮੁਨਾ ਤੀਰਾ ਵਨ ਚਾਰੀ ਜਰਾ ਦਮਾ ਦਾਵਾ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਰੀ हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे
श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित मेन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वापदांत रूप गोस्वाम प्रभुपाद की जय शुकोपाद की जय गौर भक्त की जय सो राधाष्टमी महामहोत्सव की जय इन एडवांस सो We'll try to understand about Srimati Radharani's glories. So, as we hear from Sri Prabhupada about Srimati Radharani, hardly Sri Prabhupada spoke. Very, very few occasions. Throughout Bhagavad Gita, you will not see a much words about Srimati Radharani. There is no words in in directly. But there is indirectly there are few verses in Bhagavad Gita itself about Sri Mati Radharani. One is from ninth chapter, most confidential knowledge. We see that, and then one is from fourth chapter, ninth chapter. We see verse number thirteen. Mahatmanastu mam parda daivim prakrta masya masya. So Mahatmanastu mam parda daivim prakrta masya. Bajanti ananya manusuk nathva bhuta dimati. So great devotees of the Lord take shelter of the. supreme lord and his representatives same way we want to give up this raga bhaya and krodha illusion attachment uh, fear then you must take shelter of supreme lord but you cannot take directly shelter vita raga bhaya krodha manmaya maam upasrita bahavo gnana tapasa pota mad bhav maam prabhupad in one of the class uh, out of four classes he gave on the last me one class is referring to this verse One must take shelter of his representative, especially Sri Madhuradharani, and his representative who are all the gurus, spiritual masters. Today we see Sri Prabhupada and his uh, disciples, uh, his kind of guru varga. We must take shelter of them. So who represents, who offers everything back to all the way go, goes back to Sri Madhuradharani, and she offers back to Sri Prabhupada. So if Krishna wants to enjoy, whom he will enjoy with? you will enjoy with the material world you will enjoy with anything of the material property no let's understand from the swetas uh, patra upanishad prabhupad quotes this verse many times paras tasma what is parasya shaktir vividaiva shruyate swabhavaki gnana bala kriya cha natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate nat tat samastha adhikasya drushyate lord krishna has many energies Out of that, predominantly categorized into three principal energies. One is the samvit, which is sat energy, existential, and then sandini, uh, chit potency, and then hladini. So hladini means pleasure potency. So Sri Madhav Radharani belongs to this pleasure potency of the Lord. So. So these three ways in Chaitanya Charita Amrita, Sri Krishna Das, Kaviraj Goswami, great detail describing about Sri Madhuri Radharani by quoting from not directly. He is not quoting directly. In Bhagavad Gita, you will not find about Sri Madhuri Radharani directly, as I mentioned. In Sri Mat Bhagavatam itself, also you will not find any verse directly. Ten point, thirty point, twenty-eight verse. There is a indirect reference because Sri Krishna Das, Sri Krishna Das Goswami is speaker of Sri Mat Bhagavatam. Cannot directly mention, then he will go in trance and ecstasy. Then he cannot speak Srimad Bhagavatam. He cannot finish Srimad Bhagavatam. So that's why he speaks, mentions indirectly. Anaya aradhyate. So aradhana word Srimad Radharani verses word is coming from aradhana worship. Who is the topmost worshipper? So so the Srimad Bhagavatam also now. Actual glories of Sri Madhav Radharani is there in Chaitan Charita Amrita, which is a PhD subject matter. That's why, other than the last few days, generally we don't try to discuss about uh, Sri Madhav Radharani. So who are we? We are not qualified to understand the highest. Is that the Madhurya Rasa, the most highly elevated subject matter? We are not even in the. We are in the Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, but it's very difficult to understand. But we understand in the palm of our mercy when we are chanting Hare. In the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, which is internal energy of the Lord, 
We understand the mercy of her in the form of spiritual master and Sri Prabhupada. So that way we understand. But directly discussing the most confidential pastimes, as Sri Prabhupada quotes Narottam Das Thakur, great Acharya in our line, as he mentions, Rupa Raghunada Pade Haiti Akuti, Bujay Bajay Yugala Preeti. You cannot understand Radha Krishna's pastime loving affairs with our mundian scholarship, our logic, our argument. Uh, with a, any of this, we cannot understand. Only way you can understand is by through Rupa Goswami, six Goswami, through Acharya Parampara, you can understand little bit about Srimati Radharani. So that's why we generally, it's not good to discuss about Srimati Radharani specifically on a regular basis, it's unless we are qualified. It is a confidential subject matter. We'll only see the discussion in Chaitanya Chaita Amrita elaborately about Srimad Radharani in chapter 4 of Ajalila. So many verses. And Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami is quoting Sarov Damodar Goswami, who is nothing, none other than Vishaka Saki, who is a confidential associate of Srimati Radharani. He is quoting him and is speaking all these verses from his diary. So that's how we understand. You can understand the elevated subject matter of this uh, uh, Srimati Radharani's tattva. Now, from Chaitanya Chiritamrita, we understand. Before that, we will sing one song which describes how the four Kumaras described about Srimati Radharani's glories, and then we will try to go in detail. Da, then we can play a harmony. We can. Radhe Jaya Jaya Ma Tavadaite Radhe Jaya Jaya Ma Tavadaite Damodar Rati Vardhana Vese Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhavadaite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhavadaite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhavadaite Damodar Rati Vardhana Vese Damodar Rati Vardhana Vese Harine Skruta Vrinda Vipine Se Harine Skruta Vrinda Vipine Se Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhavadaite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhavadaite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite 
राधे जय जय माधव दे सब अनुदादी नव शशिले खे सब अनुदादी नव शशिले खे ललित सखी गुण रमित विशाखी ललित सखी गुण रमित विशाखी राधे जय जय माधव दैते राधे जय जय माधव दैते करुणा करो मई करुणा भरीते करुणा करो मई करुणा भरीते सनक सनातन बनीत चरीते सनक सनातन वनीत चरीते राधे जय जय माधव दैते राधे जय जय माधव दैते राधे जय जय माधव दैते Try to understand from Srimad Bhagavatam. There is a verse which is quoted by Shilke, Shri Sukadev Goswami, ten canto, chapter number thirty, verse number twenty-eight. Yeah. अनया आराधित आराधित नून भगवान् हरिश्वर यो विहाय गोविंद प्रीतो यम अनयद्रेर इट एक्सप्लेन सर्टनली दिस पर्टिक्युर गोपी हेज पर्फेक्टली वर्शिप द आल पवर्फुल पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड गोविंद सिंस ई वॉज सो प्लीज विथ हर दट ई अबैंड द रेस्ट ऑफ अर्स एंड ब्रॉट हर टू सिक्लूड प्लेस एंड शोपा quotes silvesana chakra takur explaining about aradhita refers to shrimati radharani he comments the says sukadev goswami tried with all endeavor to keep her name hidden but now it is automatically shines forth from the moon of his mouth that he has spoken her name is indeed her mercy and thus the word aradhita is like the rumbling of kettle drum sounded to announce her great good fortune although the gopis spoke as if jealous of shrimad radharani they were actually ecstatic to see that she had captured sri krishna sri vishnu chakra takur quotes the following detailed description of shrimati radharani footprints as given by shri rupa goswami in sri ujjwal neelamani at the base of the large toe or left foot is the mark of a barley corn below that mark is a disc below the disc is umbrella and below the umbrella is a bracelet the vertical line extends from the middle of the foot to the juncture of a large and second toes at the base of the middle toe is a lotus below that is a flag with a banner and below the flag is a creeper together with a flower at the base of her small toe is an elephant god and upon her heel is a half moon thus there are 11 marks on her left foot at the base of the large toe of her right foot is a conch shell and below that a spear at the base of the small toe of her right foot is a sacrificial altar below that 
an earring and below the earring is a club along the base of the second third fourth small toes is the mark of a mountain below which is a chariot on the heel is a fish thus altogether there are 19 distinguishing marks on the soles of shrimati radharani's lotus feet and so this is the description we see in uh, shrimad bhagavatam now when you refer to uh, chaitanya charitamrita chaitanya charitamrita explains first of all let's understand from the beginning of uh, beginning about supreme lord sri krishna how shrimad radharani appeared in the spiritual world and in the material world it's very very interesting about supreme lord sri krishna's birth itself in no other form in a- anywhere you'll see that lord taken simultaneous birth at the same time one as in the vishnu full four, four-handed form with all the jewels and everything to devaki and vasudev at the same time he is appearing to nanda and yashoda at the exact same time nanda and yashoda in shyam sundar krishna form and then vasudev krishna from devaki was merging into shyam sundar krishna of nanda and yashoda this is the most astonishing in any other form you will not see lord lord's appearance in this way simultaneous two places one in different on reference one in a more of a uh, very very confidential very very in deep loving way shyam sundar krishna is the most highest form no on on reference is mixed it is not mr bhakti it is pure love this is complete vatsal ras and madhur ras so that is the form lord is taking simultaneously for two different personality devaki and vasudev nanda and yashoda they are at two different level now let's look at the shrimati radharani shrimati radharani is born also uh, is astonishing is born is not born from anybody's womb she is born out of a prashabanu uh, who is the father of shrimati radharani and mother is kirtida sundari so both of them did lot of penance and they found and they went to raval in vrindavan the two places barsana and raval raval is the place now i think uh, uh, not many devotees might be going there but raval is the place where prashabhan uh, maharaj found shrimad radharani while he went to take bath in yamuna some says while plowing uh, she found, he found a beautiful jewel ornament a big box and that in that you will see but many places it is mentioned he found in a lotus big lotus flower and then shining like anything then there shrimad radharani was found but she was blind because the reason goes back all the way in vrindavan uh, past times radha and krishna first of all understand from chaitanya charitamrita radha krishna pranaya prakriti ahladini sektir ekatmana bhu deha vedo gato to chaityam apyam aduna dui radha bhava sulitam navami krishna swarupam chaitanya charitamrita adi leela chapter 1 verse number 5 radha and krishna's past times are explained initially krishna is one krishna to in order to enjoy the rasa whom you will enjoy with not any of material spiritual so that's why krishna himself expanded into shrimati radharani radha krishna pranaya who is radharani shri chaitanya charitamrita explains pranaya vrikti transformation of love she is not of any of this uh, material love you will not find in this material world she is the internal potency of the lord aladini potency as per aladini shakti pleasure potency so radha krishna pranaya vrikriti that pranaya vrikriti means transformation of love when we understand the tattva there are many tattvas but broadly chaitanya mahaprabhu teaching rupa goswami in chaitanya jyotamrita three tattvas krishna tattva bhakti tattva rasa tattva these are three broad categories krishna tattva understanding krishna's appearance his form his incarnation whole nine yards of krishna the second is bhakti tattva understanding what is devotion service you can offer yesterday we discussed in gita class you can offer worship to anybody demigods and many other people fathers or fathers superiors but the love and uh, uh, especially love faithful and sincere love is only offered to supreme lord shri krishna worship anybody baj is used for love not for worship worshiping uh, you can worship anybody else but it is considered love specifically baj word is used in chapter 6 uh, 47 verse yoginam observasham and maya asaktam of these verses propad is explaining about this word use of usage of bird um, baj with love and affection 
So Radha Krishna Pranay Vikriti Ahladini Sakti. So when Param Brahma wants to enjoy this, enjoy, he expands as Krishna expands as Srimad Radharani. Chetyam Akyam Aduna. So initially one, separated into two, and then again combined into one as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is none other than Radha and Krishna together. So Krishna separated into Radha and Krishna eternally to enjoy the rasa. Why is he creating all the living entities? That is also because rasa always ah, he wants to enjoy rasa. So many people more rasa. Why we want friends? Why we want family members, kids? Rasa enjoying enjoyment mentality that is there from rasa always ah, Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. But he is not enjoying with anything material. Ananda chinmay rasa pradiba vita vista virya eva nicharo pataya kala vi goloka eva nivasa da kila atmabhuto govinda maja prishanta mamayam. Ananda chinmay rasa. So that's why he is mentioned in Chaitanya Chiritamrita again. Sadam se sandini, chidam se samvet, anandam se hladini. These are the three potencies. One is the existential potency, one is the knowledge potency, one is the pleasure potency. The pleasure potency is Srimad Radharani. All the three uh, main categories of pleasure potency, the internal energy as yes, pleasure potency, the female counterparts, Lakshmis are coming from Srimad Radharani. Second category coming is Mahishis, queens of Dwaraka are coming from Srimad Radharani. Third category, expansion of Kaya Vyuha, body of herself or Srimad Radharani is from her body expansion, Kaya Vyuha. That is not, nothing but all the gopis of Vrindavan. Raja Gopis, uh, Raja, uh, Rajangrana, Rajangana. Mm, there is a verse in Chaitanya Charitamrita uh, where this, this is quoted exactly. These three kinds of uh, Lakshmis uh, are being described. So in this way we can understand when Lord wants to enjoy, he is enjoying the pleasure potency. The Samvit potency belongs to Supreme Lord Krishna, existential potency. Sandhani belongs to Sri, uh, Lord Balaram, Nityan Balaram, you will see leftmost on the altar. Nityananda Balram. So he is the so Radharani Tattva and Guru Tattva, Nityananda Balram, both are giving the mercy through the, all the spiritual masters. Uh, so both are almost at the uh, same level. Both uh, we need their mercy. Without their mercy, and you need mercy of Guru and Krishna. Again, you go back to Chaitanya Chiritam, this is explained. Tate Krishna Baje Guru or Sevan. Uh, Maya Jala Chute Pai Krishna Charan. If you want to come out of this uh, three modes of material nature, if you want to come out of these miser miseries, three modes of material are Tri Tapatraya, Adi Atma, Adi Bhavya, Adi Adi Daivika, then you have to take shelter of Krishna simultaneously. You have to worship Guru and Saru Guru. Without that, there is no possibility of transcending the modes. Chaitanya Chiritamrita explains. Lord Krishna is explained in Gita also. Daivi, Esha, Gunamai verse also. Same thing. Maam, Upasrita, earlier we were discussing. That is all same thing. Shelter of representative of the Supreme Lord. You cannot take shelter of yourself. We are not qualified. We don't have that. Otherwise, why, why we are suffering? So, so that's why we must take shelter. So that's why in this verse is explained. Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vrikriti, Ahladini, Ekatmana, Bhuvi. Initially one, separate into two, Radha and Krishna. Then again, combine into one. To taste three confidential matters. To understand the Srimad Radharani's position. To taste the sweetness. And then Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva I mentioned. The third one is Rasa Tattva. Transformation of love. Pranay Vikruti. That is nothing but this Bhava. The Mahabhava Sarupani. Srimad Radha Thakurani. There is a one verse. Chaitanya Charitamrita explains. Mahabhava Sarupani Sri Radha Thakurani Sarvaguna Kani Krishna Kanti Siromani. So that is, she is the highest epitome, crest to jewel, Sarva Kanti Siromani. Sarva Lakshmi Mai Sri Radha. Anaya Aradhyate Iti Radha. All these are various definitions quoted. This is also explained. Now, one more question. You are talking about Radha and Krishna. When did they get married? Where is it? No, it is explained. Everything is explained. First of all, these questions shouldn't be asked in the beginning stage. When we are at that level, then we can ask those questions. Because we don't scrutinizingly read, then we come up with all questions. Why did Lord Adharani marry Abhimanyu? Are we at that level? No. But we have all these questions. Because we hear from all sources, but not bona fide sources. That's where the problem comes. 
So that's why Chachar has explained there are two, uh, two situations we have to consider. From Garga Samhita refers to Garga Chari is explaining Radha and Krishna married, uh, specifically quoting, where uh, initially when they are child, one year old itself, hmm, there was a big sand uh, dune, sa sand, uh, you know, like a, uh, like a big rain, thunderstorm, like that, sand storm, you can see. At that time, Nanda and Ishwara once said, and Srimad Radharani and Krishna, uh, so he. Radharani also um, transformed herself. Both are child, but they transformed themselves into youth. They got married. And then, when the sandstorm is over, then again they transformed back into uh, baby, uh, small child. By that, Nanda and Isoda came. This is one explanation given in Garga Samhita. Another explanation is given uh, that when the Brahma Vimoha Leela happened, when Lord Brahma stole all the calves and cows and cowherd boys and everyone, then Lord Krishna also expanded as gopas, gopis, and uh, all, uh, cows and everything. In that one of the gopas is also Abhimanyu. He expanded also as Abhimanyu gopa and he ma married Madhrani. That also there is one explanation has been given. But before there is another pastime going back to Vrindavan, which is explained in Vishnu, Chakra, Thakur, and Rupa Goswami. In uh, Vrindavan, where we see as a, we are discussing, Srimad Radharani has so many gopis in Vrindavan, in Golok Vrindavan itself, there are so many gopis, as we sing in Mangalarti and Mangala Sungar Arti at 7.30 or 7 o'clock in many temples. So where we sing that Chintamani Prakara Satmasu, Kalpuruksh Lakshavrite Surabhi Ravipala Indum Lakshmi Sahasra Satasam Brahma Sevimam. So, so many Lakshmis. Same way, this is Lakshmi, so many, there are so many gopis, billions of gopis. In Vrindavan, in Golok Vrindavan. So one one past time happened that uh, I think uh, many of our Gaudiya Vaishnavas or Acharya Supropa's disciples has explained this, where uh, one of the gopis is Viraja, Viraja River. We know crossing the material world, spiritual world, there is a river called Viraja River. So that Viraja is a gopi. Viraja gopi. One time Lord Krishna went to uh, Viraja gopi. So that time. And then he was performing pastimes. Then Srimad Radharani found out Sudama was there as a bodyguard outside. So not to allow anybody. Sudama is a very close friend, Sakiras. So that time Srimad Radharani came and found out. Then Lord Krishna understood, oh, something is going on. He heard some sounds, some arguments from the outside itself, from the entrance. Then immediately... He left that arena, he changed, and then Viraja also understood. Viraja changed into river. Gopi transformed into river, big river, throughout Golok Vrindavan, whole 86 crores of miles or whatever the distance has been given. So, in that then Dadarani left from there. Then uh, Lord Krishna went back uh, to meet Simba Dadarani. Then she didn't tell him, no, you don't want me. So, uh, uh, so then she criticized and she argued. Then Sudama didn't so um, uh, Sridham, I think, not Sudam. Sridham. So he didn't like this uh, criticizing or uh, argument, uh, talking about bad about Lord Krishna. So then he cursed uh, Srimad Radharani. While, while this argument is going on, uh, then she cursed um, Sudam, you become a demon. So Sudha, uh, this um, Sudama became, uh, not Sudam again, Sridham. Sridham became a uh, uh, demon. Uh, so Lord Krishna heard after that. Then Sridham also cursed uh, Radharani. You will also be come down to the material world for 100 years. So in this, both cursed. Then Lord Krishna heard what has happened. Then both are lamenting what to do. Uh, then, uh, then he said, all right, it is my past time. So don't worry. We will come back soon. So that Sudama, or Sridham, sorry. Sridham is, uh, appeared as the demon Sankachoda. Uh, for a uh, few years, and then trans uh, later on, as again a cohort boy, then uh, Srimad Radharani uh, coming to Vrindavan. This is one past time, you will see that. And again, they did the tapasya as we are hearing. They are very interrelated, as Vrishabhanu uh, Maharaj and uh, Kirtada Sandhuri both did also tapasya to get a uh, so get daughter or son. So, in this way, she, uh, daughter, Lord Brahma appeared at that time. So, she is a divine child. You are very blessed. You take the child back. She was blind. 
So then Nardamuni, we all know that story. Nardamuni comes and tells and then Ishoda Mahi, uh, Nanda and Ishoda comes after a week or so. Exactly uh, two weeks after Lord Krishna is born, Srimati Radharani is born. Uh, there is a actual age is being given uh, in the scriptures. 14 years something is uh, Srimati Radharani's eternal age. And then uh, Lord Krishna's age is also given as 15 years something. Mm-hmm. Their age never changes. They are always youthful. Mm-hmm. And so in this way, the, their birth, that's why Srimad Radharani appeared and also married again Swakya and Parakiyaras. In that way also you can understand why Srimad Radharani seemingly mm-hmm, married Abhimanyu. Mm-hmm. So, but Abhimanyu never had any relationship physically. Any relationship, and you will see uh, uh, Iskan Guru Varga explaining in Radhayatra pastimes. There are two pastimes of Radhayatra, Lord Jagannath's pastimes. One in one pastime at the end, you will see that Lord Balaram, uh, Sudarsh, uh, Lord Balaram goes first, then uh, Subhadra Maharani, then Lord Krishna goes, the chariot goes. So, after all of them goes, reach Vrindavan, then there is a the pastime of Everybody coming to Srimad Radharani and submitting one by one. Chandra, Vali, Abhimanyu, Jetila, Kutila, everybody offering obeisance, touching Srimad Radharani, begging forgiveness. This is at the end of that past time. So in all these ways, you can, you can understand this is not, nothing of the material aspects. When you hear, when you read that uh, Srimad Radharani and Abhimanyu is married, so, Radha and Krishna, where it, many other sampradayas may question. You will have to refer this, Garga Samhita, uh, and explain. Radha and Krishna are one in the beginning. So they are eternally separated. So, without understanding, don't even ask these questions. So, you should refer, consult uh, bona fide Acharya, then you ask this question. So, the, so this at least we should have this understanding why this uh, incident taking place. So, with proper uh, scriptural knowledge. Now, le- let's understand more from Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita about uh, Radharani's uh, uh, position and also in next of instruction, we see 7.15. Maybe we will end in a few minutes. May I take uh, questions? So, from Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita, we will read verse number 18 uh, from cha- uh, chapter 4. Krishna Vancha Purti Rupa Kare Aradhane Ataiva Radhika Nama Purane Vakane. Her worship Aradhana consists of fulfilling desires of Lord Krishna. Her only business is fulfilling desires of Lord Krishna. That's why it's called Krishna Vancha Purti Rupa Kare Aradhane. That's why Aradhana word is good. And she is also born on Anuradha star. From that also, Acharya is explained, Dada word is used. She is born on Anuradha star in Badra, Badra month, uh, uh, so on the eighth day, Ashtami day, so that's where Radha Ashtami, all these uh, aspects are mentioned. Radhika, Nama, Purana, Vakane. And uh, we also see uh, that uh, in the further, in the, that Srimad Radharani, verse number 82, also gives explanation that. Govinda Nandani Radha, Govinda Mohini Radha, Govinda Sarvasva Radha, Sarvakanta Siromani Radha. So, Radha Rani, who gives pleasure to Govinda, who mystifies and enchantress Govinda, be all and end all of Govinda. She is the crown jewel of Govinda. Sarva Lakshmi Mahi, Sarvakanta Siromani Para. She is the expansion of all, she is the topmost, and from her, all the Lakshmis, all the queens, all the gopis are expanding. So, Govinda Nandini Radha, Govinda, Govinda Mohini, Govinda Sarvasva, Sarvakanta Siromani. So, Chaitanya Charitamrata chapter 4 all the way from 70, verse number 70 or so to 89 explaining about this very detailed position of Srimati Radharani. We will also see from Padma Puran, 7th and 20th chapter, Bhumi Kanda. Yata Radha Priya Vishnu Tasya Kundam Priyam Tata Sarva Gopishu Saivaika Vishnu Ratyanta Vallava. Just as Radha is dear to Lord Krishna, her bathing place is dear to him. She alone is his most beloved of all gopis. So, 
in so many places this is uh, uh, explained about Srimati Radharani from Upanishads and uh, different Puranas also explaining about this position of Srimati uh, Radharani. So far any questions devotees have? In one way to look at, simplified way to look at is, he is Lord Krishna is the energy, Radharani is energetic. Is the fire and heat, so you can heat and light. So there is no fire, there is no heat. Wherever Krishna is there, Radharani is there. Wherever Radharani is there, Krishna is there. So it's all, that's why we we don't worship separately. That's why Radha and Krishna together always, as we heard from Chaitanya Charitamrita directly from the lips of Sri Krishna as well as Goswami. Good, Mohit. Yes. It is not understanding that we Yes, Gopas, yes. That's what I mentioned. Yes. Yeah. No. It is simultaneously. This is explained in Gopal Champu by Jiva uh, uh, Goswami. Mr. Gaur Govind Goswami Maharaj explains and many other Acharya or Guru Varga explains about this. Simultaneously, Vasudeva Krishna ex uh, expanded as a, um, born as four-handed form because that's what Devaki and Vasudeva worshipped for three lifetimes. Lord appears in three different forms. She specifically, want, Lord Krishna uh, tells actually, in fact, to her, because you wanted to see, you may doubt, is this uh, Lord appeared or uh, somebody else? If ordinary child I appear, then you will not even know that I appeared. Lord, myself I appeared. So that's why he himself appeared first four and palm, showed, then he transformed, then she asked, he may come and kill. Then she, he transformed, Lord transformed himself into ordinary chair. But exactly at the same time, Nanda and Yashoda also had a baby, that is Lord Krishna, Shamasundar Krishna, the topmost, highest level. So when uh, Vasudeva Krishna brought uh, child, he didn't see because yoga maya potency covered. She also had a baby, girl also, second, two, boy and a girl. She is sleeping, she doesn't know, Yashoda Maharani doesn't know that who is born, girl or boy. And uh, Deva can, Vasudeva also doesn't know because yoga maya covered. At that time, he couldn't see a boy. He only saw girl. So he saw the girl and he kept the boy and then girl. Then the boy, Vasudeva Krishna, merged into Shamsundar Krishna. You only see Shyam Sundar Krishna. Gopal Champu by Srila Jiva Goswami. Yes. Yeah. But it is not simultaneously, he, he didn't appear like this. I mean, at least I haven't heard or seen a scriptural reference of. Any other form appearing simultaneously at the same time in two different expansions, like Lord Krishna's. Yeah, that might be the case, but not simultaneously, both as Vasudeva Krishna and also Shamasundar Krishna. So, this, I haven't seen, that's why I had mentioned. This is my reflection. Okay, yeah, this is not, put a, don't tell me that, uh, where did you uh, find out? This is my reflection. So, of uh, Lord Krishna's uh, supreme position. That's why you will not see in any form as you see the beautiful, most magnificent form, Rupa Madhuri, Venu Madhuri, Leela Madhuri, all is you will not see in any other form. That's Shastra is explaining. So on top of that, I mentioned this. That is my reflect, own reflection. So, Srimad Radharani's uh, appearance also like that, the divine uh, appearance. Uh, so, there are other incarnations appeared. Maybe appeared found like that, not born from, but again as blind, only when Krishna came and touched, because that is the original uh, assurance. Until that, she didn't want to come. She, gave, she got assurance that only, I want to see you only. I don't want to see anybody else. That's not my position, that's not my characteristic at all. She always wants to serve Lord Krishna only. That's her business, always giving pleasure to Krishna. So that's why he wants to, she wants to see Krishna first. That's why when Krishna went and saw, peeked in, and then, then that's when she opened her eyes. So that is her position. She is only meant to, meant to please, meant to serve, 
Sri Krishna. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had to appear to taste that rasa. He, he cannot be in that position to taste the rasa. Because he had to be in the position of Srimad Radharani to taste. That's why he had to take the position of Srimad Radharani. Uh, so that's why he's running. When he took sannyas also, he's running. And Katwa, as reading from Chaitanya Bhagavat Madhya Leela, Rante Leela, chapter 1. Whole description of 200 plus verses describing how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ran like mad. He took even Kesho Bharti before he was jumping up and down with his sannyas guru. And he took him also, he danced with him together uh, for days. Uh, sometimes he disappeared and he went alone and crying like anything. Then devotees heard the voices, then he, they went there and found Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then, then described, then Akashwani gave the voice. Now yeah, all the devotees are disturbed. Mahaprabhu is going, going, going somewhere. He is not going to be here with us. Then Akashwani said, don't worry, four or five days, one week, Lord is going to come back. So then Lord came back to Jagannath Puri. So all this. So this is a, it is a very, very uh, wonderful pastime of uh, this Radha and Krishna's pastime, especially hearing from the mouth of Gaudiya Vaishnava, especially from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's line. You hear from them, then you understand the position of Sri Madhavarani and the confidential nature. How sweet it is. It gets more sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. You read Chaitanya Siddhartha, through devotees also. There. If you read yourself, you will never understand this past time at all. So, we are another question on the tradition. Yes. So, we take education also. The Buddhist is the Lakshmi, yes. and the Queen is the Madhavarani. Yes. How about Madhavarani? Yeah, Mother Sita is also expansion of Sri Mother Radharani. Yes, yes, yes. Any other questions, comments, corrections? You can ask, when I mentioned the class, you can ask. Please go ahead if you have questions or comments. Feel free to ask. Yes, go ahead. Who is the reason for humanity? As I explained, right? So, one is the cursing. So, Radharani had to appear. Generally, so then obviously, not of the uh, Shantras, not of Dasiras, not of Sakiras, not of Aksalas. It has to be Maduras. Then, is Swaki and Parakya. If there is no marriage, then how will you have Parakiras? So, then he has to marry. There could be others, uh, other pastimes. So, I was in rush, so I didn't read enough. So, there might be other. So, what I told only to the extent I know, but there could be other. There are many interconnected past tense why these Leelas happen. So, we have to thoroughly understand. So, that is one way to look at Abhimanyu's uh, past time. So, Rasa increases. Bhava, as I mentioned, this in order for Bhava to increase to the highest extent, there should be opposite parties. Jetila, Kutila, all of them has to be there. Otherwise, how will you increase the Rasa? That's why there is a Krishna like Krishna is telling, I don't like the way, chanting Vedas, I don't like, I don't like so much about all of them. I like so much when the gopis are arguing, when Chandra opposite groups are there, it increases competition, it increases rasa. Krishna releases. Dui lage huda hui, Prabhupada explains. Competition. Who's going to give more pleasure? Well, so both ways. Lord Krishna and Radharani is left wing, right wing, always competition is going on. So, yeah. There are no other questions, comments, so we can conclude.